Hi everyone, I'm Jeremiah. I'm a hospital outreach specialist for the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp. We are so excited to bring camp to you with another edition of Cabin Chat Cartoon Corner. Today we'll watch the comic strip movie Voyage to Slug Planet. It's extra special because we have four hop specialists doing the voices of the different characters. My friends Matt and Annie work for camp in our New York, New Jersey hospital partners, while Kevin and myself work for camp in our Boston area hospital partners. And we'll be doing the voices of a robot chicken, an astronaut, banana man, egg boy, and even a slug queen. I can hardly believe I just said that. Anyways, in between the episodes, I'll be giving you little tips for making your own comic strips, cartoons, or comic book art. Well, without any further ado, let's get this party started. Please get comfortable, and as always, we hope you enjoy the show. The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy in Voyage to Slug Planet, Episode 1. Space, the final frontier for Banana Man and Egg Boy. In a galaxy far, far away, a banana-shaped rocket ship cruises to the furthest reach of the known universe. The SS Space Banana is on a mission to... The Slug Planet. Five years ago, Earth lost contact with the space explorer Captain Alan J. Ripley. Now our last hope lays in the hands of Banana Man and Egg Boy. They're accompanied by Carl, their robot chicken science officer. Egg Boy pilots the ship. Beep boop beep. We are entering the slug planet atmosphere. Brock, brock, brock. Time to wake up Banana Man. He's been asleep for calculating, calculating, 50 days. Beep boop. Brock, brock. Banana Man loves to sleep. He says that's why he never gets spots like most older bananas. Banana Man was dreaming about his vacation to the all-inclusive beach resort on Fruit Fly Island. More coconut water, sir? Perhaps you'd prefer a manicure or a hot stone massage? Thirty minutes later, Robot Chicken gives an update on the mission. Banana Man blows on his cup of hot cocoa. He is still sleepy. Bark, bark, bark. Beep, boop, boop, beep. We land on the jungle side of Slug Planet. That's where Captain Ripley's last transmission came from. Remember, watch out for giant insects. We're not sure if they're friendly or not. Some are covered in a slime that is impossible to get off if you touch it. Banana Man, Egg Boy, and Robot Chicken explore the new world. They see strange jungles full of massive insects like giant butterflies, ladybugs, and grub worms. They walk past hundreds of pools of a strange sticky goo. They also see wet slimy tracks on the ground. Look! The tracks go off in this direction! Let's follow them to see where they go! They find tree leaves full of holes wherever the slimy tracks go. At last, they see a crashed rocket ship in the distance. As they get nearer, they have to walk between the pools of sticky goo. Eek! What's that? Over there, crawling towards us. Giant slugs? Ew! I just stepped in the goo. It's really sticky. I'm sinking! Help me, Egg Boy! Egg Boy pulls out a grappling hook from his utility belt and throws it to Banana Man. He notices Robot Chicken is stuck and slowly sinking in the goo, too. Grab the end of this! Whatever this goo is, it's so sticky! Ew! Now I'm stuck! The giant slugs are getting closer. What will our heroes do? How will they escape the goo? Tune in next time for the answers to these and many other terrifying questions in Episode 2, Trapped on Slug Planet. The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy Well, that was exciting. Now I want to give you a quick tip for making your own cartoons. And it's this. It's okay to borrow ideas or be inspired by other stories. For example... Do Banana Man and Egg Boy seem like any other superheroes you know? They were actually modeled on 
Batman and Robin with a little touch of Superman, but I changed them to be funnier and not as serious. Also, Robot Chicken was inspired by a robot from the Star Wars movies. Can you guess which one? If you said R2-D2, you are correct. But I made the robot be part chicken because that's funnier to me. Just make sure when you're inspired by something from another story, you change it enough to make it your own. All right, that's enough cartooning tips for now. Let's get back to our story. The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy in Trapped on Slug Planet, Episode 2. In the last episode, Banana Man, Egg Boy, and Carl the Robot Chicken were all stuck in a slime pool with giant slugs closing in. At that moment, a stranger in a spacesuit comes running out of the crashed spaceship with a spray bottle of vinegar and a bag of rock salt. The stranger throws the rock salt on the ground in front of the slugs. They scream and turn away. Yeah, yeah, be gone, slugs. Eep, eep. Captain Ellen J. Ripley at your service. Those pesky slugs hate rock salt, and this is the only thing that'll dissolve the sticky slime. Let me spray a little here, here, and here. Psst, psst, psst. Ellen Ripley, the lost astronaut? I thought your name was Alan. You're a girl. Well, what do you know? Let's get out of here and return to Earth. Psst, psst, psst. I'm a woman, actually. You can call me Ripley. And I'm not leaving until I find the giant banana slug. Think what we can learn from it. We can perfect the best slime in the universe. It numbs your fingers and it stretches forever. I just love it so much. Banana slug, best slime in the universe. Maybe we should check that out. I've seen the giant banana slug many times, but only at night. I tracked it as far as a huge slug mound at the end of this river. The mound is fantastic. It looks like a castle or a cathedral. Follow me. I'll show you. It's not that far. They walk further along the river's edge. Eventually, the jungle opens up to reveal an impressive castle surrounded by hundreds of pools of slime. Wow! That's amazing! It's like an enormous termite mound. Let's follow the river around to the side. I don't want to cross those sticky slime pools again. We might never get out. They follow the river to the side of the slug castle. The river flows inside through a small opening in the wall. I don't know how to get in from here. The opening is too small to squeeze through. Beep boop. My beak has a laser blaster. It might cut through the wall. It cuts through metal, so it might work. Beep boop. Robot Chicken fires its laser at the wall. But it only makes a small hole with cracks around it. Let's all push together. Maybe if we work together, we can break through. They push and push. Eventually, the wall begins to move. Creak, crack. It's working! One more big push, and I think we got it. They push harder, and the wall falls inwards. Wham! The friends tumble into a large, wet hall. Unfortunately, they've broken into the middle of a massive gathering of giant banana slugs. They're surrounded by hundreds of huge slugs. Intruders! Don't let them escape! They've entered the temple of the slug! Gulp, I have a bad feeling about this. How will they escape the slugs? Who will rescue them now? And most importantly, will they find the best slime in the universe? Stay tuned for the exciting conclusion in Episode 3, The Temple of the Slug. The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy. Well, it's time for another quick cartooning tip. Say, have you ever noticed how these episodes end with something exciting that's about to happen? Or that the characters are stuck in a difficult situation when the chapter ends? That is called a cliffhanger. It's a great way to keep the audience's attention as they want to see what's going to happen next. It keeps people interested in your story and helps build suspense between chapters or episodes. Like right now, I bet you want to see what's going to happen to our heroes next in the Temple of the Slug. Enough of me talking. Let's find out. 
The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy in The Temple of the Slug, Episode 3. In the last episode, our friends found a way into the mysterious and fantastic castle-like slug mound. They're surrounded by a huge gathering of giant banana slugs. They're trapped inside the Temple of the Slug. Tie them up and take them to the Slug Queen. To the Slug Queen. Our heroes are captured. Their hands and feet are tied and they're carried away. They're marched through an angry crowd of giant banana slugs. Boo! Slime them! Slime them! Slime them! As they're carried through the corridor, they notice piles of huge transparent spheres everywhere along the walls. Some of them seem to have objects on the inside. Whoa, whoa, what do you think those are? s s s something's moving inside them! Those are giant banana slug eggs. Oh, ho, ho. if only I could get my hands on one of those. Just think of all the slime. Mm. <laughs> Soon they enter a large hall with a giant throne atop a set of stairs at one end. Sitting on the throne is the slug queen. She looks like a big, wet, slimy banana with tentacle eyes. Bring them closer. What are you doing in the Temple of Slug? We never let outsiders in. We'll throw you in the dungeon and cover you in slime for a thousand years. <laughs> you can never leave. <laughs> but who's this? You almost look like one of us. What kind of creature are you? Speak. Hello, Great Slug Queen. I am Banana Man. We come in peace. Blob blob eek. Yabba goo squish. Yabba goo squish. Everyone's eyes widen. They're all shocked to hear Banana Man speaking this way. Egg Boy's mouth nearly hits the floor. I speak banana slug. Grandma taught me when I was a boy. Eek! Yabba goo blob! Yabba squishy squishy! Chupasa! Chupasa! Your banana slug speak is excellent! <laughs> Why are you here, stranger? Are you a friend or foe? Oh, slug queen! We mean you no harm. We'd like to learn how you make the stickiest slime in the universe. It feels so good. It's extremely pokey, it stretches forever, and it numbs our fingers. We'd like to bring it back to Earth. Hmm, I see. We take great pride in our slime. Great pride. <laughs> Perhaps we can teach you the ways of slime. I will let each of you Take one slug egg back to your planet. They will grow into giant banana slugs and make slime. Each will lay a hundred more eggs. You'll never run out of slime again. <laughs> Thank you, Slug Queen. We're indebted to you. We'll never forget your hospitality. Blab, yada, blab, eek, boo, squash, yada. That's okay. The parents of Earth children can thank us later. <laughs> Our heroes take their slug eggs and head back to the SS Space Banana. Banana Man, Egg Boy, Robot Chicken, and their new friend Ripley are finally on their long journey home. Along the way, they went through many other adventures, but that's a different story. Oh, and the Slug Queen was right. Slug slime eventually spread around the world, much to the delight of Earth parents everywhere. The End The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy Wow, that was truly a fantastic adventure. Well, that's it for this edition of Cabin Chat Cartoon Corner. Once again, I'm Jeremiah with the Hole in the Wall Gang Camp's Hospital Outreach Team. Thanks for joining us today at camp. We say that because camp isn't just a place. It's in our hearts, 
and we can take it with us wherever we go. If you enjoyed today's video, check out the hop section of our website at this address, where we've got lots of other fun activities and videos for you to explore. We hope you enjoyed the show and that you all have a great day. Bye, everybody.